Jeff Sessions isn't he giving up on weed? He is doubling down. A year ago, when President-elect Donald Trump announced Senator Jeff Sessions would be his attorney general, advocates for marijuana law reform were suddenly seized with panic. The longtime Alabama senator, they knew, had once joked that he considered the Klan to be OK guys until he found out they smoked pot. Only they weren't he quite sure he was kidding. Sessions' appearance at his confirmation hearing in early January did little to allay those fears. During testimony best remembered for the Attorney General's commitment to recuse himself from any investigation related to the 2016 election, the nominee was asked about medical marijuana by Vermont Senator Pat Leahy, would you use our federal resources to investigate and prosecute sick people who are using marijuana in accordance with their state laws, even though it might violate federal laws? I want to commit to never enforcing federal law, Senator Leahy, Sessions replied, suppressing a slight smirk. That double negative tightened the knot in every drug policy reformer's gut. Exactly how vulnerable were the nascent marijuana industries in the 29 states where it was now legal? What Sessions, who rarely misses an opportunity to bemoan the scourge of marijuana, sweep aside the paper-thin order imposed by the Obama administration that had stayed the enforcement hand of the Department of Justice? What SWAT teams arrest wheelchair-bound medical marijuana patients? raid marijuana dispensaries and shut down the high-tech grow houses that supplied them. The dreaded crackdown never materialized. Sessions, perhaps preoccupied with other priorities like keeping his volatile boss from firing him, remained largely inactive on the subject. Meanwhile, a series of incremental advancements on the pro-marijuana front helped to further enmesh the $9.7 billion industry into the commercial fabric of the nation, 60% of whose residents support some form of legal pot. California opened the doors to recreational marijuana and issued regulations for outdoor marijuana festivals. Florida began its implementation of a medical marijuana program. And Denver and Las Vegas are vying to become the first city in America to legalize marijuana consumption lounges. Think high-end bars with expensive weed choices instead of booze. Sessions, for his part, has spent his time in testy exchanges with DOJ interns and convening meetings with small groups of like-minded anti-pot activists determined to roll back state-level momentum. I do believe that the public is not properly educated on some of the issues related to marijuana, he told one such group on Friday. But things are suddenly looking rosier for Sessions. Thanks to Congress fumbling over the spending bill, the AGS yearning to battle legal marijuana may get a major boost without him having to lift a finger. That is because Rarabha Kerfar, a little-known and even less discussed amendment that protects state legal medical marijuana programs from federal interference, is close to expiring. If the government shuts down at the expiration of the current continuous resolution on December 22, or if negotiations in an upcoming Appropriations Conference Committee fail to insert it in the final draft of the spending bill entirely possible given House Republicans' hostility to marijuana sessions would be free to unleash federal drug agents on a drug which according to federal drug law, is considered the equal of heroin and LSD. The politics on this issue has shifted so dramatically that reform advocates, instead of quaking in their boots at Sessions' saber-rattling, are actually itching for the fight. Part of me just thinks, let them try. There will such a ferocious backlash, Rep. Earl Blumenauer of Portland, Oregon, told Politico magazine in response to a question about a potential Sessions-led crackdown. Blumenauer replaced Sam Farr as the amendment as Democratic co-sponsor after Farr's retirement, so in a turn that does not help its branding efforts, Rarabaker Farr is now called Rarabaker Blumenauer. Morgan Fox, communications manager of the Marijuana Policy Project, agreed with Blumenauer, there is no way that Sessions can start rolling back medical marijuana policies or attacking patients and providers without looking like the bad guy. Still, with the legislative barrier gone, there would be plenty of ways for Sessions to make life difficult for marijuana businesses without creating dramatic footage for the nightly news. Fox worries less about SWAT team raids than the possibility the Department of Justice would quietly send letters to landlords who rented to legal marijuana businesses to threaten them with asset forfeiture. People would be forgiven for thinking that state legal medical marijuana was a settled issue, but in fact it is hanging by a thread, and Congress is poised to hand Jeff Sessions the scissors.